There is nothing more satisfying than beating someone with a low tier pick. Panda. <laughs> Panda. Really? <laughs> Everyone knows that some characters and weapons just aren't as good as their S tier counterparts. Picking a low tier is basically forfeiting before the match even starts. And yet some brave souls pick low tier and win anyway. Today, we wanted to highlight the low tier heroes who made picks that shouldn't have won and beat their opponents anyway. But first, I wanted to tell you about our brand new show coming out called Worth. Worth is about the most exciting, inspiring, and interesting stories in esports. Basically, it's about the stories worth telling, and it's launching June 2nd. All right, let's get into it. Here are the seven low tier picks that actually worked. Shotguns aren't exactly CSGO's most useful weapons. As close range guns, they're outclassed by SMGs in almost every relevant way. Usually they're not worth buying in a real match, but sometimes players prove that in the right situation, they can do a lot of damage. Flash versus radio interference as mouse sports just entry into the A bomb site. Well, it with oh. three auto shotgun kills. How about that? Have you ever seen? that before. But the shotgun play we are talking about today wouldn't really be considered a traditional use of the 12 gauge. Back at ESL One Clone 2016, Pasha Biceps opted for the Mag 7 during a half buy. Now that's already a little spicy, but if you know anything about Pepito, you know he was up to something. And that something was an insane jumping kill with one of CSGO's least purchased weapons in pro play. Pasha just with the shotgun to try and defend. Oh, nice shot on Fur. Doesn't even hit the ground and Taco low on HP. Easy to pick up again, Max oh. 7 jumps up, Colts here, I can jump too, Pasha takes down Fallen. For our next entry, I'm going to need everyone to put their hands together and pray to our Lord Tachanka. Once upon a time, Tachanka was by far the most trash operator in Siege. He was beloved, but literally unpickable in pro play. Seriously, his pick rate was basically non-existent. Why? Well, when your main gimmick is standing in place and firing in a single direction, you don't get very far in a game like Siege. However, one man gave the Russian tank a chance. Back in season three of NA Pro League, King George picked up what is, to our knowledge, the only mounted LMG kill in pro play. I mean, even, even in that infamy loss, he dropped, he dro I think dropped the most frags of anyone. And here you can see Redeemer gonna drop down and be eliminated by <laughs> King George. <laughs> oh, and the rat -a tat tat comes out, old Jerji getting that Tachanka turret kill. Tachanka has since been reworked, but we will all remember the one time he actually got a kill. All right, buckle in, because this is one of the most legendary low tier victories in esports history. Back at the 2018 Tekken World Tour Finals, Rongchu came out of nowhere and beat some of the best players in the world. But the most exciting part was that he did it all with Panda. Panda. <laughs> Panda. Really? <laughs> Panda is considered one of Tekken 7's weakest characters, but Rongju didn't care. He knew that his opponents just wouldn't be ready for a character that basically no one else in the world played. This is unprecedented. His He's so solid. With such a weird character. The character's like the opposite of solid. Oh, yeah. Is, is that flashing? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. flashing. All right, here we go. Oh, man, here we go. Has wow. an opportunity. That's going to be it. Rongchu the celebration. Jun Ding. Rongchu didn't just make Panda look viable, he tore through the bracket, going on one of the most legendary runs in esports history. And in the grand finals up against Kudans, one of Tekken's most legendary players, Rongchu proved to the world that a panda and a pink hat could defeat a god. It's guaranteed! Last hit! Bear champion! Oh, oh he got him! It's Follow not over! Up. 50 seconds! Oh, he hit! Heaven's Gate! The ball. other no. side! Be careful, if one more he can end oh, it here. Q dance! Oh, so no, I'm the punish! We have a animal of a champion here! 
While Valorant does have a few low tier guns, I'm looking at you, the Stinger. For the most part, the meta has solidified around the game's agents, and of the game's current roster, few are more down bad than Yoru. When Yoru first dropped, he was actually a pretty unique agent, but as the months went on, people realized he was useless. Yoru was so weak, he got a small rework back in March, and his new clones made for some really good content. What if I put the real one here, and then I'm the clone? Oh my god, bro! No! Get out of my way! Oh! Oh! oh no way! No way! No way. No way. No way. <laughs> But his tricks only really worked in casual lobbies, which left him out of pro play. That is, until VCT Masters Reykjavik 2022, where Paper Rex's Forsaken locked in Yoru on bind against G2. It's okay, coming, girl. everything's looking as Here usual. We okay, we got the breach, we got the brim. It's okay, sky in. again. And. Yes! Nice. Sorry, I yelled. Nice. <laughs> This is happening. He's picked! No one expected much from this ballsy, low tier pick, but Forsaken did much more than just not embarrass himself. He demolished G2 and became the first person to win a map with Yoru. The decoy was popped and they shot it. They know that they're coming for Wow, he hit it. Damn. Low, the oh no. No, he hates another one. No, so no, oh no my way. god. No What's way. happened? What's one, happened? No, man. Is this the no, comp? No, is this the comp? They're not used to it or they just... I don't even know. Now we've already told you about CSGO's unloved shotguns, but arguably the real worst gun in the game is the M249. You know, a single round that they drop, and what did Pyfe just buy? Is that a... That must have been a mistake. He just bought the uh, the M249. They are going to smoke out and flash out. He's going to run out with his back turned down to 1 HP. It's going to fall to his death. <laughs> what did we just see? Oh. CSGO has two LMGs, and both of them are just too expensive for what they do. Of the two, the Negev is mildly useful. It's mostly a meme pick, but has a shit ton of bullets and shoots like a laser, so it does serve a purpose in a few situations. And there's one looking for more. Will he go for the left click hold? And he gets two more right after that! Headshots on all three of them, looking for both. He gets it! Can he get the ace with the Negev? SM at the last man remain. MBK, we know he's playing stylish. He's looking for the chase and he gets the kill. All headshots with that gun. <laughs> this man is enjoying life right now. The M249, on the other hand, is completely useless. Statistically, you're better off picking up a FAMAS or a Galil. And with a $5,200 price tag, you may as well just pick up a budget rifle instead of gutting your economy. But back during season 27 of the ESCA Premier League, Snacks trolled Assyrian with a cheeky M249 buy, showing that it's just as good as an M4 if you're up 13-1. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Triple kill <laughs> with, the, with the M249. It's not even the Negev. It's Worlds 2017. Misfits are facing down an unstoppable looking SKT and they need something huge. But for some reason, Ignar locks in Leona. So they're targeting more Ignar as a player rather than actually, you know, this is a poor champion. Oh! God, the Leona, this makes so much sense. See, all League players know the meta is constantly changing. And back in the World's 2017 patch, the power of the Ardent Sensor item meant that healing and shield supports were the only thing worth picking. But Leona wasn't just unpopular. The meta had declared her basically useless. But Ignar didn't care. Leona was his comfort pick. So he locked her in and then, defying all logic and reason, went for a full damage fervor of battle build on the champ. People were rightfully confused, but Ignar silenced the doubters with an absolutely all-star performance, racking up fervor stacks at high speed and shredding SKT's bot lane. In short, Ignar turned Leona into a machine, and he wanted all the smoke with SKT. Well, they tried to get to the front already. Ignite goes down immediately. No flash forward, but the heal comes out. They turn to Wolf as Bang feels like he can get back into the fight. Just 100 Ansama has no heal. Ansama. One more shot as Wolf wants the glitter lands. Bang! Oh Misfits here, they want to get more. Hoonie still no flash. Nice ultimate. Solar flare into the Zenith lane. Daybreak locked down, and that's Han Sama coming up with another kill. Ignar putting these on a silver platter. Can you believe it, man? They pick Leona in this game. They win the bot lane. They keep creating picks. They get two.
two Barons. The surprise low tier pick threw SKT off and helped Misfits take the series all the way to game five. Misfits might have lost in the end, but their incredible strat made huge waves. SKT even busted out Leona later in the tournament. Street Fighter V is a pretty well-balanced game, but there is one character that's remained near the bottom of every tier list, Fang. I don't know if anyone is gonna disagree with me here. Just what were they thinking? Fang is slow, hard to use, does low damage. He is everything a strong character isn't. And yet, Mono PR has dedicated the last couple years of his life to him. And at CEO 2021, Mono finally found huge success with Fang. Mono went on a tear through the bracket, beating some of North America's finest pros, including Punk, one of the best Street Fighter V players in the world. Mono needs by the time Mono faced off against Punk again in the Grand Finals, the crowd was 100% on his side. Are people booing right now? They're booing him. They, is They're that what booing. I'm hearing? He's the villain. He's they, the he's villain. He's the villain because it's Mono's story. Mono won the tournament, beating Punk a second time and proved to the world that his low tier pick could do anything. All right, folks, that's our list. Did you think we missed a low tier pick? Let us know down in the comment section below. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. But honestly, like if the, it's only a low tier pick some of the time if you just don't know how to use it properly. Remember like old Yoru? Like old Yorus were absolute menaces. They mained Yoru back before the rework, you were dead. They were everywhere all at once and it was so annoying. <laughs> oh man, good times, good times.